Hi everyone, and welcome to this chapter of the Freefall Stack course. In this chapter, we're gonna focus on installing Android Studio on our computer, on Mac OS specifically. Android Studio is a very important component for installing Flutter later in one of the later chapters. Android Studio comes with the Android SDK and many other components that we can install separately. And in this chapter, we're gonna focus mainly on installing Android Studio on Mac OS. The first thing that you need to do in order to get started with installing uh, the Android SDK is to actually download Android Studio. So let's go, let me do some screenshot reshuffling in here actually. Let's see if I can get this right. There we go. So if you go to the address provided at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that you'll land on this uh, screen where you have Android Studio and a big a green download Android Studio button. If you press on this button, you read the terms and conditions. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll be presented with, actually, let me resize the screen a little bit so you see it better. You'll be presented with the option to download Android Studio uh, for a, a Macintosh with an Intel chip and a Macintosh with an Apple chip. Now, I, seem, uh, I happen to be on a Macintosh with an Apple chip. So for me, it's going to be very easy to just download um, Android Studio for an Apple chip. If you're in a situation where you don't know which kind of Macintosh you have, it's, it's very important that you go to the Apple logo up here and then say about this Mac. And then in there, on that screen, you will get information about what kind of Macintosh you have, whether you have an Intel chipset or a Mac chipset. And you'll also get serial number and other, some other information using which you can also Google that serial number, for instance, and find what kind of a Macintosh you have. If you've purchased your Macintosh in the last year, chances are that you have a Macintosh with an, with an Apple chip, but it's also possible that you bought one of the older Macintoshes, for instance, even from Apple as a refurbished computer. So it's not always 100% certain what kind of Macintosh you have unless you're 100% sure about that yourself. And if you're not sure, the best way to find out is to go to the Apple menu on top left and then about this Mac. And I believe the Apple menu might be present actually on the top right if you if you sit here a Macintosh to be a right to left language such as Arabic or Persian, for instance. So this menu might not always be on top left. It might actually be on top right. I'm not 100% sure about that. After pressing these buttons, you will actually download a DMG file on your computer, or not you, but uh, this uh, developer.android.com website will download this DMG file on your computer. I've already done that. So um, I've already in uh, downloaded the DMG file. So if I go in here and then double click on that DMG file, I'll be presented with this screen right here. What you'll need to do then is to take this Android Studio with your key, keypad um, or your mouse and then drag it into the applications folder. I already have Android Studio installed on my computer. That's why I'm getting this dialog uh, to replace the existing installation. And that's completely fine. Uh, it's in use. OK, that's OK. I can actually close Android Studio then. And then I can bring it here and replace that. So. This is quite a large application, so dependent on your computer specifications, this process could take some time. I can see in here it's going rather fast, maybe 10 to 15 seconds. OK, so that's really good. Now we've basically installed uh, Android Studio on our computer, and we can close the Safari screen. What you'll need to do then is to actually open up Android Studio and configure it and follow the instructions for the configuration of Android Studio. So let's just do that. I press Command Space on my computer, which brings up Spotlight. So you can press that as well and then type Android Studio in here. And Android Studio will appear, and then you can open it. So it says, is an app downloaded from the internet? Are you sure you want to open it? I'm just going to say Open. All right, and I can see Android Studio is open now. So I'll bring it up here, OK? So it's downloaded Android Studio Chipmunk, and they have their own co uh, version codes. And here, the version code for this particular Android Studio is Chipmunk. But your, the downloaded one on your computer may be different if you're, for instance, running this, uh, going through this course a year from now. OK, so that's really good. Now we have Android Studio. The reason I didn't get any dialogues when I opened up Android Studio and I just landed on Android Studio is because I had a, a previous installation of Android Studio from before. If you've never installed Android Studio from before, then you may be presented with some dialogue to customize and configure Android Studio. 
And those dialogues could be anything between one to maybe four or five dialogues. Those dialogues are usually quickest if you just use the recommended settings. So you just say that I want to use the recommended settings and just take me to Android Studio. And then at the end, you will end up with the screen that I'm showing you right here. Okay. So what we need to do now is to install some important components for Android Studio, uh, which are then going to allow us to do Android development with Flutter in the later chapters when we do the front end of our uh, backend application. So you can go to preferences either by clicking in here on this gear button or just pressing command and then uh, comma. So command and comma will always take you to preferences in any Mac application. You can do that either by command comma or from this gear button, or you should also be able to go to Android Studio in here and then say preferences, which is one of the easiest way of going to preferences in any application on Mac OS as well, okay? So what we need to do is once you are in preferences, you may actually land in any kind of uh, place. Basically, it's not 100% sure where you'll land. On the left-hand side, you may land in this or notifications or scopes. But where we need to go now is in order to install these dependencies and components is to go to appearance and behavior and then system settings and then in Android SDK. Okay, so you need to make sure that you follow this path as well as I'm showing you in here. OK, so the first component that we need to install in Android SDK in here is just to click on SDK tools in here, OK, and then to install the uh, to install the Android SDK build, build tools. And let's see if we can find them. And they're right here. I can see that there is a little minus on here, and that's simply indicating to me that there is an update available. So I'm just going to click on that and then press the Apply button here. And this is going to then install the required components that I ticked on that screen. OK, I'm just, just going to say finish right there. Good. The next thing that we need to do is to install the Android SDK command line tools in here. The reason it is checked already for me is that I have already installed the latest version of that. If you haven't a check, uh, check in here, then uh, you might, ha might have either a minus uh, check in there, or you may not have any checks in there at all. And in that case, you just need to click in this checkbox and then press the Apply button in order to install the SDK command line tools, which is an integral part of Flutter development later, as you'll see as well. OK, then you also need to ensure that you click on Android emulator in here, press the check in here, and, and press then the Apply button. I've already done this, so I don't need to do that. But if you haven't done that already, then you need to ensure that this is checked and then there is no updates available meaning that you should see a checkbox in here and not a minus sign, OK? After doing all of this, we also need to install the SDK platform tools. And they're available here. You can see Android SDK platform tools. I've already installed that. If you haven't, please go ahead and do that now and press, press the Apply button. Now, if you sometimes install Android SDK, uh, you might have a pending update right after installing the latest version of Android uh, Studio. Um, I said Android SDK before, but I meant Android Studio. And if you have a pending update on Android Studio, it will be displayed on the main UI for you as an update with a little green, uh, a green icon. So if you see that green icon on this screen, please go ahead and make sure that you've installed the latest version uh, available for your computer. Okay. What we are going to do now is to um, go to Device Manager for Android Studio. And one of the easiest ways to actually go ahead and do that is to create a new Android project. So let's go in here in Android Studio. Let's go and create a new project. So I'm just going to say New Project and, and say Basic Activity. From the left-hand side, choose Phone and Tablet. And we're going to press Next. And then let's just call it My App, if I can spell. OK, I'm going to say SEPixality My App. And this is a reverse domain name for this application. And if this is unclear for you at the moment what this actually means, just, you, you can just use what I'm typing in here. But as we will go and do the development of our Flutter application later, you'll understand that this is the domain name or the reverse domain name for your website. And this is my website. But it doesn't really matter at the moment. You can just use the same one. It's not that you're taking anything away from me. And it's not that I've actually blocked you from reusing the same. But in reality, when we actually do the development of our application, you will want to use something that is unique for you. 
But for now, it's, it's not that important. You can just use the same one, OK? And then we're going to leave everything else as it is on the screen. Then let's just press the Finish button and let this dialog do its work so that it can create the Android application for us. So pressing the Finish button, we end up in the Android Studio's main interface. And it, uh, you might not see it correctly because the interface is just so small. But at the bottom of the screen, we can see that it is doing some syncing, uh, some Gradle build syncing. And that's, that's fine as well. We can just leave it as it is, OK? We see a dialog with Kotlin code style. We're just going to dismiss that for now. And what we need to do is to open up something in Android Studio uh, called Device Manager. Now, Device Manager is going to allow us to either create an emulator or it's going to create, it's going to allow us to create a, um, an actual connection with a physical device. Now, in the later stages of this um, course, we will set up a, a real phone, for instance, or an emulator that can then connect with Android Studio and, and then also Flutter. But for now, what we could do is just to go ahead and create a simple emulator that anyone can use on their Mac OS to run our Flutter app when we actually get to it. So uh, let's go in here to Tools uh, menu on top of the screen, and then let's just say Device Manager. And in here, I can see two devices that have already been created. So what I can do in here for now, just delete them. You may not have these devices set up yet. So if you've never installed Android Studio before, you will end up on the screen and it will look like this. So it will be completely empty. Again, you go to Tools and then you say Device Manager. You end up in here. Then we're going to go to the Virtual section, as you can see in here, and then say Create Device. Then on the left-hand side, choose Phone. And in here, I'm just going to use Pixel 5 as a phone, for instance. And you may choose anything else in here. But Pixel 5 is a pretty good uh, emulator to choose for our purposes. After doing that, I'm just going to press the Next button in here. And you can see um, a system image in here, which is uh, S. And we're not going to go to API 33 at the moment. We're just API 31, uh, level 31 is enough for now. So let's just choose that and then press the Next button. And again, we then press the Finish button. And now we have an emulator ready here for running our application on. So um, this was this was really it. This is uh, There's not much more to it. Now we've been able to create um, an Android emulator on our computer. And we've been able to uh, install Android Studio, which is a very important part of later being able to develop our application uh, with Flutter. So congratulations. And uh, if you have any questions, and if anything didn't really work for you on a Mac OS with installing Android, Android uh, Studio and Android SDK and creating the emulator, please do let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to help you out. And until then, I'll see you in the next chapter.